Okay, now let's see this question. This question is, this question came in gate 2014 for two marks. Okay, the minimum number of comparisons required to find the minimum and maximum of 100 given numbers is what? Okay, so uh, this question came for two marks simply because actually uh, there is a trick to do that and if you know that, that trick then it is not worth two marks, it is just a simple question. If you don't know that trick then it is going to it is going to uh, it is going to be difficult to come with the answer in the examination but okay uh, you can come come up with answer if you have some intuition but let me explain the intuition in a bit so trivially you can understand that if there are 100 elements then you can simply what you can do you can simply uh, compare the first compa compare like like go from first element second element third element and keep track of keep so firstly we compare in one comparison we can find the uh, minimum and maximum among the first two elements and after that we have to keep track of uh, the minimum and that is going to take 98 more comparisons and that is going to be nine uh, one comparison plus 98 comparison that is, that is going to be 99 so in that uh, strategy 99 for minimum and 99 for a maximum and that is going to be 198 but the question came for two marks simply because there is actually another way in which you can do it uh, with much less number of comparisons okay let's see see you can do one thing you can group the hundred elements in groups of two okay now so this is let's say this is group 1 this is group 2 this is group 3 similarly this is going to be group 50 so all the 100 elements you can divide it into 50 groups okay after that in each group you just do one comparison in each group you just do one comparison in one comparison you can see that in this group g1 what is going to be the minimum element and what is going to be the maximum element in one comparison we can do that right similarly in the second group we are going to do one comparison in one comparison we can find what is going to be the smaller one and what is going to be the bigger one and that is going to be the minimum and maximum for this group in that fashion we are going to do for all the elements all the groups so basically after 50 comparisons we are going to have something like m1 m2 till m50 and capital m1 capital m2 till capital m50 now see one simple thing i am saying you is that we have to find the minimum and maximum so among this group this one is minimum among this group this is the minimum among this group this is the minimum so whatever is going to be the minimum that is definitely going to be from the set m1 m2 till m50 isn't it so absolute minimum is going to belong to this set and similarly absolute maximum is going to be global maximum is going to belong to this local maximum sets okay so capital m50 okay so uh, what we are going to do is that uh, we have to find the global minimum and global maximum for uh, this list so after doing till till here we have done 50 comparisons after that we can do 49 more comparisons and we can find the absolute minimum among this uh, how 49 I, I told you earlier right so among these in one comparison we can find the minimum among uh, uh, m1 and m2 and among rest of the for rest of the 48 elements we are going to need 48 comparisons to keep track of the absolute global minimum so for 1 plus 48 which is going to be 49 comparisons and similarly in 49 comparisons we are going to have the absolute maximum now overall comparisons is going to be 49 49 and here we have done 50 comparisons so our answer is the minimum number of comparisons is going to be 50 plus 49 plus 49 and that is going to be 148 
okay so 98 and plus 50 148 so our answer is 148